So we want to find the slope and the y-intercept for the given equation. And then you want to be able to graph that equation. So remember, the easiest way to do that is we need to get it in y equals mx plus b because the slope is m and the y-intercept is b. So if I need to get y all by itself, I'm going to have to subtract 3x and add 12y to both sides of the equation. So that will give me 6y equals minus 3x plus 12. I'm going to get y by itself, so I'm going to divide each term by 6. And so y is going to equal to minus 1 half x plus 2. So this tells me that the slope is going to be minus 1 half, and the b-intercept is going to be positive 2. So I'm going to want you to graph that and then come back and check out my makeshift graph and make sure it looks the same as yours. So your graph should re resemble what I have in the bottom left-hand corner. The key is that since you have a negative slope, it should be pointing up into the second quadrant as well as down into the fourth quadrant.